around 7 a.m. in an undisclosed location outside of New York City. Today, this man and his team are guarding something so valuable, so desired, that they're ready to protect it with deadly force. Cold, hard cash. We rarely think about it. We hardly even notice it. But money is constantly in motion. In fact, right now, in these city streets, dozens of armored cars could be moving millions of dollars. We transport new currency from the Bureau of Engraving and Printing to the Federal Reserve Banks, from the Federal Reserve Banks to the commercial banks, and to and from the merchants. Armored car employees always work in teams. The driver never leaves the vehicle. His partner is called a hopper because he hops in and out, making up to 60 pickups and deliveries a day. Security regulations prohibit them from revealing their names or discussing their jobs. There's a mystique about armored cars. Very few people know much about them. For security reasons, we like to maintain a low profile. We prefer that the general public doesn't know much about our business. It's a dangerous business. Over the past 10 years, there have been around 570 armored car robberies nationwide, nearly 60 per year. Each is a federal offense, investigated by the FBI's Violent Crimes Task Force. Guns and armored car robberies are always tied together because the employees, the guards and the hoppers, carry weapons. The subjects come into these robberies almost invariably are armed themselves, so the potential for violence uh, really goes through the roof. <laughs> 